Hey team, this is Nathan from RunDreamAchieve.com. I got a, a lot of questions recently in regards to how long for a sub five minute mile, how long do I have to wait before I can finally get to a point where I can run under that sub five minute mile barrier? Great question. Um, I, I'll tell you from experience that uh, it, it won't happen overnight. You're not gonna be able to run four consecutive quarters under 75 seconds uh, quickly, okay? The fact that you're trying to run this fast for one mile already tells me how extremely dedicated, driven, and motivated you are. And when I get these questions of how long does it take, how long will I have to wait bef before I can finally break a five minute mile? Uh, these, kind of, these kind of questions relate to any distance, whether you're trying to run a, a, a under a two hour half marathon, or you're trying to run a marathon under you know, two hours and 40 minutes, or you're trying to run a 35 minute 10K, it's a difficult question to ask uh, and answer specifically because one, I, I don't know the athlete, uh, I don't know you personally, what you're doing on a daily basis, how many miles or kilometers a week you're running, what percentage of that particular volume you're putting in, are you training well under five minute mile pace? Um, what I can tell you is this, if you're spending sufficient time um, focusing on getting 75, 74 to 75 second quarter speed, uh, per quarter to feel more efficient and not so aggressive and not, not so taxing on yourself. If you're training well below those types of paces, it's not a question of if you're going to break five minutes for the mile. It's going to be a question of when you're going to do it. And I want to answer your question and tell you, okay, you're, you're doing A, B, C correctly. All you need to do is this, and you're going to be able to do it within a set amount of time. You're going to be able to do it by in four weeks time or four months time. There are athletes out there that have the capability to do it, to that, that can run under a five minute mile, but takes many years for them to get to a point where they can do that. And then there's other athletes out there that are extremely talented. They have the genetic physiological capability uh, that they really don't have to work quite as hard as somebody that has to really rely on their work ethic like I had to over the years. Um, and and to, so it it's gonna vary in how long it takes you. The key thing to keep in mind in order, if you're somebody that's trying to run a sub five minute mile and trying to get to that 459 or faster time, it's gonna come down to your drive and motivation and discipline. How badly do you want it? And the athletes that have strong, you know, competitive goals like this, uh, they're gonna do whatever it takes. They have the mindset, they have the, the, they have a plan in place. If they don't have a plan in place, they know where to go to get those plans. Um, they seek out athletes that have done what they are seeking to do. And they have that do whatever it takes mentality that I'm gonna keep pushing and, and keep putting in the work and, and learn how to use leverage and work smarter rather than continuing to have to work hard and still missing the goal. So how long to run a sub five minute mile? I'll tell you that for me personally, it took me it took me a, a, about two years of consistent, and I'm talking about consistent, focused, razor sharp uh, focus on what I was doing in order to run, to go from running, the first time I ran the mile was in uh, high school as a freshman, I ran 5.30 the first time I ran it, got it down to 5.09 my sophomore year. By the end of my sophomore year, my personal best was four minutes, 38 seconds. Okay, so it, it took me it took me that, you know, several, you know, years. I started running when I was a freshman. So from all of my freshman year and all of my senior year, during the summer as well, putting in the, that volume, putting in the, those miles and kilometers when my, my competition wasn't putting in the work. At the end of the day, it, it's going to come down to you. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, am I doing every single possible thing correctly in order to achieve this sub five minute mile goal? And I know from experience, my own background, that if you are focused and driven enough on what it is you're wanting to do and you do it consistently, I'm not talking about like, well, I don't, maybe I'll take a day off and, and even taking a day off every once in a while is still okay. So you're still, don't get me wrong with that. Taking a day off every once in a while is a good thing, but not slacking, not letting up and not losing heart and losing discipline when you have setbacks and when you when you have times where you're like, I cannot seem to get this barrier, I cannot seem to break this time, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. The fact that you're seeking an answer to this specific question tells me already that you're probably very low, you're either a sub six minute miler, 
very low fives, maybe under 530, maybe under 520, maybe you're under 510. Maybe you're in the low 50s, like 503 or 502, and you're within just a few seconds of breaking the barrier. You already know you have what it takes. You've gotten this far. So start planning your training differently, okay? It's not about higher volume, okay? We're all taught to work hard, that working hard gets results, and oftentimes they do. But a lot of athletes that are trying to break a time like this and, and trying to run under five minutes for the mile to hold 74 seconds, basically 74 seconds per quarter, four laps in a row. Those types of athletes are, are driven. They do not let setbacks get the best of them. They overcome setbacks and trials and tribulations quickly. All the, the world-class milers and marathoners, middle to long distance runners I've trained with over the years that I've emulated as well in my own training, the thing that got us all to the point where we could run well under five minutes for the mile, well under two hours and, and 30 minutes, two hours and 20 minutes for the marathon, was not spending so much time on past setbacks, okay? Learn from what you did wrong in your past races. Maybe you've gone, you're going out too fast the first 800 meters of your race. If you're trying to fi run a five minute mile, don't go out the first 800 meters in 2.15. Okay, that's a 430 mile pace. Great, you went through 215 through the 800. Where were you at the finish line? Okay, remember, you need to hold 230 twice or faster. So you don't need to be going out that fast through the first 800 meters. Maybe you're, it, it's psychological too. Okay, there's a lot of aspects that go into running a sub five and a mile. You gotta be in great physiological shape. You gotta have put in the, you've had, you've had to have paid attention to recovery and jogging on your recovery days and not running too fast on those days where you need to slow down so you can recover from the hard, you know, those hard 200s you're doing on the track or 300s or repeat 400s on the track. You can't just continue to push the body hard anaerobically all the time and expect to get a high return on your investment. You have to slow down, okay? I've learned this from world-class athletes that were far better than I was uh, on any distance. You know, I ran 4.22 for the mile, 14.18 for 5K, uh, 2.19 for the marathon. These were athletes that went well under uh, 13.30 for 5K, well under 2.10 for the marathon, uh, sub four minutes for the mile, okay? What I've learned from those athletes is they, their attention to detail, their focus on what they're wanting to do, their goal setting, their, their goal setting habits, what they do. Uh, they pay attention to all the other aspects of their preparation that their competition more than likely is not. So focus on mental training, visualize yourself getting across that finish line with 459 on the clock, okay? It's not impossible for you to break a five minute mile. How long it's going to take is really up to you, okay? It can, it, it, if it is a case where you're low on talent, then it may take you several years to finally get under this barrier. Okay, accept that. Okay, we're not, I, I wasn't really blessed with a lot of physiological talent either. I put in decades of mileage and kilometers on a consistent basis, regardless of the weather conditions. And over that long period of putting in, callousing my mind mentally, you know, putting in those long, hard workouts, those long t tempo runs, those long, long runs, the track sessions, all of that got me to a point where I could run a mile in four minutes and 22 seconds or a marathon up to you know two hours and 19 minutes. Okay, so have that stickability and that drive to, to commit to what you want. You wanna break five minutes for the mile, study what the milers and the other middle to long distance runners are doing to get those results. Okay, there are resources on rundreamachieve.com, uh, my other sister site, nutritiongeeks.com. Uh, all, all the links are below these videos. Check those out. Nutrition plays a big, big part in overall middle to long distance running success. Do not neglect that. Practice your hydration practices in your middle to long distance running events in training. In the mile, focus on speed. Spend sufficient time training well below five minute mile pace. You're not gonna be able to spend, you know, you're not gonna be able to go out on the track and do a repeat miles, five to six one mile repetitions on the track in, you know, 445 per rep. It's asking quite a bit when you're just trying to get one mile in under this barrier. So focus on doing those mile repetitions. Get to a point where you can do them in around, you know, 5, 5, 15 per rep. And then spend some time doing those 200s at like 
27 to 29 seconds per rep. Very, very fast, much, much faster than five minute mile pace. That's sub four minute mile pace, okay? Get your head revolved around that as well. Spend some time training at paces that are so much faster than what you're trying to run right now for a five minute mile and getting under that five minute mile barrier. You doing these things on a consistent basis over a long period of time will get you to a point where sub five minute mile pace is achievable. It's no longer impossible. And all it takes is one time, one time for you to do it. And then you'll start, be th you'll start thinking, okay, what do I need to do to break 450? What do I need to do to break 440? Okay. Those are the things that, that I had to overcome too. You know, I had specific goals in mind for myself. And I was like, as soon as I achieved it, then I started thinking about the next goal. So how long it's gonna take? It can take you a matter of weeks. It can take you a matter of months or a matter of years. It just really comes down to how much talent you have, how hard you're willing to work, how smart you're willing to work, which is even more important. Study those athletes that are doing what you wanna do. And you know, I've had Run Dream Achieve since 2011, so there's a lot of resources on that site. I've had Nutrition Geek since uh, 2019, a lot of nutrition and a lot of um, business-related information there on that site as well. So definitely seek, seek those uh, resources out. If there's anything else I can help you out with and getting under this barrier, let me know. I have a, a sub five minute mile training plan on rundreamachieve.com. Uh, sub 450, sub 440, 430, 420. Uh, plans on the on the website as well and i'm currently working on a site uh, a course for athletes that are trying to break the five minute mile as well so I look forward to hearing your comments under this video let me know where you're currently at what is your current personal best for the mile and what has been the biggest issue for you in your mal uh, attempts in trying to break this particular barrier or whatever barrier you're trying to go for maybe you're trying to break 430 maybe you're trying to run under six minutes let me know in the comment section. I'm looking forward to hearing from you, and I wish you guys all the best, and I'll talk to you in the next video.